Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, today we are continuing on with our local election series. And joining me today, I have Aaron Watley with Orion Township. He is the Director of Parks, Recreation, and Facilities. And he's gonna be giving us some information on a parks millage that you're going to see on the ballot this November 8th. So if you would like some good information and some facts about the millage that you're going to see on the ballot, be sure to tune in. I have Aaron actually in studio here with me, so bear with me as I flip the camera over and let's give Aaron a warm welcome. Hey, Orient Township. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I know that um, the Parks Millage is one of several millages that we're going to see on our ballot if we live in Orion yep. this this uh, this November 8th, this voting season. Yes. And so I really appreciate you coming in to explain it to us because I feel like a lot of times we get to the polls and we're not really clear, you know, what it is that we're voting on. So I think it's important to get some information and just understand what it is so that voters and residents know which, what they're voting and which way they'd like to vote. Correct. Yep. So, um, so November 8th, you'll see on the ballot for a uh, Orient Township Parks and Recreation Millage Renewal. So we'll be asking the citizens to vote um, for or against uh, a renewal of so, one mill. And okay. it'll be for five years. Okay. Um, with that, it comes with capital improvements, um, projects, you know, big CIP projects. Um, CIP, what, what, what do you mean by CIP? Capital improvement capital projects. Improvement. Okay. So, you know, developing pickleball courts, playgrounds, yes, pickleball. Um, <laughs> renovations to facilities, accessible, accessible trails, um, okay. a variety of different things. So, and you said this is a renewal. So this isn't something new. This is something that we already have incorporated Correct. into our taxes. It's not going to increase anything. It's just going to basically keep things the same but it allows the township to continue to do these improvements that that we're requesting, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So so the improvements that you decide to do with the, the money from the millage, um, where does that come from? That comes? Uh, yeah, so it's all a tax base, but w we don't necessarily decide what to do with it. Okay. W the wonderful part about my job, our job here, is we listen to the community. Every five years we go out for our parks and rec um, master plan. So we we canvass the community, we do surveys, we do public forums, and we ask the residents, what do you want to see in your community for recreational amenities, whether it's trails, um, sports, um, yep. you know, pickleball, whatever it may be, we reach out to you and it really gives us a very clear picture over the next five years of what the community wants yeah. and what they truly value. And so it's really a no-brainer for us with the exception of lining up contracts and all that sure, stuff. Right. You know, there's work to it, but um, <laughs> right. it, it really just focuses in, us in and okay. dials in the community and um, recreational amenities. See, and that's another thing that I love about our community. Um, we come together in so many ways and it, and it even comes from, you know, higher up in our organizations. Um, you know, you're truly looking out for what our interests are and what we want to see within our community. So Absolutely. I love that. So you do surveys, you gather information, mm -hmm. it comes directly from us as residents, and then you put together your master plan, which then you go and, and act, yeah. right? Act on that. Absolutely. So. Yep. So big projects, but then, you know, there's also that, um, the stuff that's not that pretty and just general maintenance, Sure. taking care of your assets, making yep. sure what we have stays along for a very, very long time. Yeah, and you know what? And that's really important as well, especially those of us that are homeowners, right? Mm -hmm. You want to live in a community where things are taken care of. Um, I mean, we have to do it with our own homes. It, you know, there are, there are maintenance. There are things that you have to do to keep your home in great condition, and that helps keep up the value. It keeps yeah. people happy. So, yeah. yeah. And, and one thing I'll say about it, too, is we have such a wonderful group of employees at the township um, obviously I'm biased for parks and rec but <laughs> we run with such a lean staff that we the team does such a great job uh, we try to limit the amount for staffing and really put those dollars back in the community for uh, whatever it may be 
That's awesome. And okay, so some of the things that you've done now, you know, you and I talked the other day and you mentioned that it's not just like the projects that you do. It's not just through the millage money. That's absolutely. But you are able because we have the millage money come through, then you're able to be able to match those funds then Correct. through other sources. Right. There's yep. many grants that you can apply for. And absolutely. Yep. So we millage money's wonderful and yes. it helps to operate. It really um gives us a nice starting point, but we like to leverage those funds. Yes. So uh, American Rescue Plan dollars uh, help fund. The township board was great, and th they allocated a ton of funding towards projects. And then we uh, acquired some grant dollars from the state and federal funds um, to, to even make it you know, over even the top. Right, to really add to it and really fulfill all of those requests that you're seeing come in Absolutely. from residents. And I know I was a, a part of a, a, an improvement project in the downtown several years ago. And one of the things with the grant is that they actually wanted to see that there was that that contribution from the yeah. other side as well. So the millage is still very important and it mm -hmm. helps with the overall, yes. you know, being able to accomplish things. So tell us, what are some of the things that have been done with some of the, the millage money this, this last time around? So many great projects. Yeah. And you'll probably see it soon on uh, Facebook and social media. Um, but we really dial it down. I, I have some notes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I wrote, I wrote on this. Give I us apologize. The list. But, yeah. uh, if you can see it. <laughs> That's very detailed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, for the most part, we have about a 93% success rate from the project. So anywhere okay. from um, Friendship Park restrooms uh, by the, the Miracle Field, yes. we help contribute to that. Those uh, were much needed, yes. much needed. Yep. So glad that those happened. So accessibility, yep. trailways, um, an accessible pathway over at Wildwood. We put a pavilion over there. We put lighting and uh, you know uh, sound trussing, uh, baseball field renovations, uh, parking lot at the trailhead yep. um, playgrounds we have a we can't necessarily say it but um, a ninja course or oh, America, yes. you know yes, a, adult yes. fitness course adult fitness course yes yes uh, <laughs> coming uh, this fall over to Civic Center Park for the ninja within all of us yeah right? so the, the kids can play and then <laughs> right. the adults can go play too yes um, that sounds like fun <laughs> yeah and then uh, this winter hopefully if the weather holds out we'll have an ice skating rink oh that's out, fantastic out there as well um, let's see and then siding and roofing yeah. you know the, sure. the not yeah, so yeah. pretty things right right but but things yeah. that need to be done and taken care of Absolutely. and then also coming soon i know um yeah. you know it's it's a big buzz you know around town are the the pickleball, pickleball courts yeah. yes i know we i can't put them in fast no enough. no yep. it's i mean it's the fastest growing sport yes so that's fantastic I, we already have some courts within orion but it's nice that we're getting some additional courts on on the other side of town so yep. no matter where you're at you have some courts nearby north end friendship park with their yep. we we would have hoped them uh, they would have been completed by this fall but um so anyways, we're looking for sure. uh, this spring, and they'll be wonderful. Two pickleball, be... one tennis. All right. Um, for 2023, we are really allocating a ton of funding to Camp Aguam. So okay. if, if the residents haven't been to Camp Aguam, we Oh, have, you have to get there if you haven't. Yep. yep. Camping, lodges, a beach, trails, disc golf. Yes. Um, we'll be investing about uh, roughly $1.3 to $1.5 million. Wow. Um, so Peterson Lodge renovation, we're going to – Look to do an open air pavilion with um, hopefully garage doors that close down, a little heating, so it'll be a three season venue, um, restrooms, accessible kayak launch, wow. expanding the beach, just improving the area for our residents, uh, accessibility, and just um, taking care of those. That's groups. great. I I really love Camp Aguan, and I'm so glad. I was so happy when the township. Amazing. you know, took over that property and, you know, continue to develop it um, for us as residents. Uh, it's beautiful. If you haven't made it down there just to go take a walk on the trails, you need to get out there, especially right now with the, the colors and the yeah. leaves are changing. It's, it's That's spectacular. Beautiful. Sure. Yep. Beautiful. You can walk. There's a trail that goes along. You can walk kind of by the water. It's yep. in the sun, day like today, the sun glistening on the water. So I mean, so beautiful. One, the the amazing thing about Orient Township and the residents is that how much they value their recreation and green space. Yes. I am incredibly grateful to be a temporary caretaker of your your resources. Oh, um, it's just it's spectacular. Yeah. I grew up around here and I love it, and I came back. 
Yeah. Well, and we appreciate you. And, yeah. and, and you know, 93%, I mean, that is, that's amazing. That So what, what Aaron is saying is that 93% of what all residents are asking for from Parks and Rec, mm-hmm. um, Ninety-three percent of it is being completed. Obviously, you know there's there's going to be some little things here and yeah. there, but but the majority the majority of it is being done and will continue to do so. Um, you know this millage is a big part of it, and uh, so if you enjoy our community and the green spaces and yeah. and all of the improvements that have been done over the years and would like to see those continue, um, you know this millage was, is going to help with that. So absolutely, yep. So we don't necessarily um, have a ton of projects. We have some layover from this one that we'll be looking to, to fund. Okay. But we'll be in 2023, we'll be doing our Parks and Rec master plan again. So okay. we're going to look to the community to tell us what you want for the next five okay. years. So we're, so, yeah. so if you vote for this millage and say yes to, to the parks millage, then you also get to have a say in how that money is going to be spent. So for me, I think that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. Yeah, so I, um, I appreciate you coming on and all of the information. And, and just so you know, um, you know, one mil, that's what we're talking about. Just for those of you who would like to equate it into to dollars, that's like less than a, like a dollar a week, right? I mean, it's, yep. it's very, very, I mean, very minimal. I mean, we're talking like 40, for most households, about $40 a year. I mean, it just depends on your, um, you know, the, the value of your home, but it's, it's minimal. You Correct. get maximum maximum results for a minimal investment. Cup of coffee a week. Yes, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> not even, I not even a, the cost of a cup of coffee. So, um, anything else that we should know about this millage? Um, no, yeah, I just, I mean, yeah, for property values and everything, it yes. just, uh, you know. People obviously want to move into our community. We do. We, we definitely have a desirable community. Um, I mean, I've lived and worked in Orion for many years now. And, um, yes, from a real estate perspective, this is, this is definitely something very positive and uh, makes, our, makes our community desirable. Another, another aspect that makes our community so desirable. Absolutely. So uh, thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Aaron. I'm going to... Yep. Try to flip the the camera back to uh, to finish this out here. All right, there we go. Thank you all for tuning in this week. Don't forget November eighth. That is when you want to get out and vote. And if the parks millage is something that is important to you, please make sure you get out and you vote on November eighth. Thank you all for tuning in. The next three weeks, I have three more guests coming up to talk about some additional local positions and millages that you're going to see on the ballot. So please stay tuned. Thanks and see you next week on Tea with Tracy.